New information about a young girl who disappeared from the St. Louis area almost 40 years ago. Her body was found beside an interstate in Arizona back in 1982, and no one knew who she was until now. Fox 2's Rocky Madden is live in Bell Fountain Neighbors with her story. Rocky? Well, Sandy, police called her Valentine Sally. Her body was discovered on the Day of Love, Valentine's, almost four decades ago. We had limited evidence from the scene. The sheriff of Coconino County has worked the case and 17 year old Carolyn Eaton's body was found in 1982 in Williams, Arizona, which is about an hour's drive from the Grand Canyon. We thought we had her identified a couple of different times, but as it turned out, it was not her. I'm told family members alerted Bell Fountain neighbors police the teen had left home on three previous occasions, but not this time. For years, Arizona authorities doggedly searched for the victim's true identity. Arizona Sheriff's detectives got a grant from the National Missing and Exploited Children Organization to compare Valentine Sally's DNA to people who put their DNA on genealogy sites on the Internet. With the advent of DNA, that is really what helped with the case. The victim's DNA matched a first cousin here in St. Louis. St. Louis County Missing Person Detective Tom Taylor helped Arizona police with their investigation here. You want closure both for yourself, for your case, but more for the family. New DNA was collected from family members and recently confirmed that Valentine Sally's true identity is Carolyn Eaton. Just another example of, of how why hope springs eternal and law enforcement why law enforcement is able to keep going at these old uh, cold cases and missing persons cases it's nice to to be able to, to to finally identify and put some closure to this really tragic situation dna was not first used by police until four years after carolyn's body was discovered and there have been great advancements in the science since then now, the sheriff says he is sure, deter, uh, positive actually, that Carolyn was murdered. Now, he described her as a troubled person who was a runaway. Coming up at 11, we're going to take a look at the number of people reported missing, the number of adults in St. Louis County every year, and the number of those cases that are cleared. Reporting live here in Bell Fountain Neighbors, Rocky Madden, Fox 2 News.